In this video, I'll be showing you how to model fountain in Revit. At the end of this video, you will learn how to model a fountain like this. Without further ado, let's get started. You can decide either to model it in this project or you model it as a family. If you model it as a family, you can load it any of your projects. That's the advantage of modeling it as a family. So let's try that instead of modeling it in this particular project, let's model it as a family so that we can use it in almost all our projects, except if we want another design. But as far as this particular design is concerned, if you want to use this particular one, you can always load it into your project. Okay, let's go into it now. I will click on File. Then I will click on this drop down, New. I will select Family. Then I'm going to select Metric Casework. Click Open. Now, this is the reference level. This is the width. I'm going to change this width to 2400 mm you go here and the width should be 2400 click apply click ok then the depth should also be the same thing The depth, depth, okay. So, 2400 mm. Click apply, click OK. I need to increase the length of this reference plane. Because I'll, I'll be using them a lot. Okay, that one is not increasing. Let's leave it and know what is wrong with it. Okay. Increase the length so that when you want to use it, it becomes easier for you to use it. All right, okay, so now we have the width of 2400 mm and the depth of 2400 mm. It's a question of starting our modeling now. Okay, now I am in a reference level now. What I'll do now is I'll click create. Select 
sweep and sketch part pick cycle start from the center oh before before this i need to establish the center okay let me add another reference plane so that i can establish the center i will add dimension and press equal so that they will be equal so this is at the center now you cannot see the center of this model so it's a question of going to create now and i'll select sweep i will select sketch part then select cycle pick from the center to the edge I'll finish parts, go to edit profile, go to right or left, any of them will be okay. Okay, so what I will do now is I am sketching the part now. I will start from here. I'll go up by 300 mm press enter let's just do it like this for now so that we finish it and see what we have model this is just cycle okay we have just model just like a cylinder don't worry we'll be we'll modify it so i will go to the left and select this profile edit profile this is where we are going to get to work now so i will select this go up by 300 or let me go up by 225 let's say 200 it's going to be in step I will what is the depth from here to here 300 okay which is fine so I'm going to pick another one 300 again press enter and go up by 200 press enter go side by 300 press enter and go up by 200 press enter go in by 300 press enter okay now I want to make this place to go in a little bit because I want to have my water somewhere here. So I will let me offset by 100, offset by 100 mm. 100 is too much okay let's let's just make a hundred all of them 
und bei dem hier. Okay, dann. Ist von 100 mm aus so. 100 mm all inside. Okay, so I am going to trim now. I'll trim this and join. Trim that. Trim this. Trim this. And Trim that, then all right, all right. So, what I'll do now is to connect these together so we have. A sort of steps now let's finish it for the material let's set the material to be let's duplicate this default i will name it as fountain body then let's click for the appearance let it be off white click okay and let's finish it let's see it in 3d here you go okay this is it so what I'll do now is this is like this is going to be like tiles. Then inside this place we are going to have water. So I will go to left side view and I'm going to create sweep again. Before I create that sweep, I need to go to reference level then i go to create sweep then pick sketch part pick cycle like we did the other time from the center exactly from the center to the edge and finish this the part then edit profile go to left then i'm going to be modeling my water now this is where my water is now this is my water so i can even copy this so that they will be of the same size Let me copy, let me select multiple. And paste it here. Let this one be, let it not be exactly on the center so that we will not have some errors. Okay, then for the material, Let's select, you know, this is going to be water. So I will select glass and duplicate it and name it as water. Then click here. Yeah, this is the color of water. Click apply. Click OK. And let's finish it. let's go to 3d now let's change the the visual style 
to shaded now you can see it's actually appearing like water now can you see that okay so the next thing is i'm going to go to the reference level and go to create select exclusion select cycle and pick from here to here and for the material I am going to create another material for it. I will call this one Nozu. This is where the water will be gushing out from. So I call it Nozu. And for the color, the color will be off white too, or gray, light gray. And let's finish it. Let's go to front view. Okay, this is what we have just modeled. So I'm going to take this one up a little bit above other ones because this is where the water will be coming from and dropping here. So I go to 3D now. So that is it. That is your fountain. So when you get to Lumion, you are simply going to place the effects of fountain here. You just drop the fountain effect here and you'll be seeing the water dropping inside this place. And you apply material here you apply water material here to this water and there you go you have your fountain i hope you enjoy watching this video if you do don't forget to give me a video testimonial thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye